In this tutorial, you will learn Operations Toolbar. Operations Toolbars are used once you create some geometries. How engineers do it? Before we start today's video, I would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my YouTube channel How Engineers Do It, to share the video among all of your friends, and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update. So, let us first create a couple of geometries here and then let me first apply the corner to apply the corner click on the corner tool and click on two of the edges and once you click then you can see the options just make sure that your sketch tools is open here and more about the sketch tools will be explained in the upcoming tutorials but as of now the sketch tools shows you contextual menus and contextual options when you uh, try to use different options in the operations toolbar so once I click here I haven't uh, confirmed it so we have an option to uh, confirm the radius and the different uh, trim option so usually we use the trim all elements option so if you click and confirm this you can see that a radius is being applied and a portion of a, an arc is created which is tangential to the two lines here. Let's go ahead and apply a chamfer here. So two lines are created and then I'm uh, applying a chamfer. So if you go for chamfer and select the two lines just like before here you have uh, some different set of options you can see the first la first length and second length and etc if you press the tab key you have the option to get into this so I'll give a 300 and 400 so I guess that's a little, a little too much maybe 200 so yeah gives you the option so you can see that it's 200 chamfer here and 300 chamfer here so that's the uh, benefit of uh, using sketch tools so now for example when you are uh, working with different sketches of uh, objects you generally need to you will have to you will come across lines which are bisecting so in this case these lines are bisecting so there are two different ways you can uh, go ahead and do the trimming one is a quick trim which is very very comfortable so you just click and double click the quick trim and just click on the portion which you don't want and there is another option which is called as extend you could go here and click and click here so this is uh, this tool is mainly very useful uh, especially when you're uh, working on uh, a set of you you will come to know where you need to use this tool once you get into the uh, companies so sometimes you it's very comfortable to use the trim option than the quick trim so let's uh, go ahead and see the next next option that's the symmetry and the mirror so that's another set of option which is very helpful so let's first create an object so then don't care about the shape of this object and I create an axis firstly what you need to do is select the lines which you need for the mirroring command and go for the mirror and select the axis and you will get it so so good part is if you extend it's going to extend so it's very responsive and the other option about the axis is that uh, and we'll select the whole line here set of lines and we'll just go for a symmetry so what happens a symmetry is that the parent is deleted and there is no constraints being applied it just goes to the other side so that's about the operations toolbar these are the main tools which are being used when it comes to the operations toolbar 
and uh, there are a couple of options where this option could be explained only if uh, you start doing the part design workbench so let's see what comes next in our tutorial stay tuned thank you <laughs>